Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome to Magical Otoge CL. You know what? You know what sucks? I'm gonna complain a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm just I just need to get this off my chest. You know what is really annoying? So I had an entirely different game in mind that I was going to play for, you know, for Wednesdays. And it was actually a, like a horror game sort of thing. And I was gonna play it. But for some fucking reason, I could not get it to show up in OBS. I record all my videos with Open Broadcaster software. That's what it's called. And it, for the life of me, it would not work. Like, I tried running the um, game as uh, administrator, and then I tried um, running OBS as administrator and it just would not work. I even tried using like window capture and it did not work. So it's really sad. Like I was looking forward to playing that game for my channel because you know I like horror games and it's just sucky that I couldn't fucking figure it out. Like I looked it up. Don't don't like I looked up like why isn't it recording and I did everything I could and it just fucking didn't work so I don't know if you guys have any more suggestions about how to record that uh, it, the game is called um Fosts uh Fosts uh Fosts Fosts um Fosts Alt Alt it's on Steam oops oh oh don't what oh oh fuck did you just Oh no. Oh no. It crashed. The game crashed. Well anyways, while we're, while we're still here, if you guys know how to get that game to be recorded, let me know because it would not, it would not show up. It kept showing up as black, which is what you see right now. It kept sh doing that. And yeah, it was just, like, come on. I really wanted to record it, and it's really disappointing. But anyway, so I had to change the, my entire plans and change to this game instead last minute. Literally, go on, I literally went on Steam, like, what else can I download to record? And so, yeah, that's why we're here. So, with that all being said, that rant out of the way, let's... Let's do this. It's magical Otoge CL. Please choose me. The choices in the game don't matter except for the root selection. You can go back in the text by scrolling up. Oh, like what? I don't have a scroll. Enjoy the game! Okay, thank you. Hello, everyone! Oh, it's Machin! Or uh, there's an umlaut, so how do I do that? Don't you put emphasis on it? M uh, Marchin. Or, or Markin. Or, 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 um. <laughs> umlaut. That's a fun name. That's a fun word. Umlaut. Hello, everyone. Are you getting enough sleep? No. I sure hope you are. Though, knowing you, you probably aren't. Well, thanks! Jeez, okay, fine. If you don't feel like sleeping, how about a story to pass the time? I have one already. This story really happened in a universe far away from yours and mine. Well, that actually goes for all stories. Oh, really? And lucky you, this one ends happily for once. Yay! I love happy endings. It's like it knows me. All right, then. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Ciel in a kingdom called Ar Amarine. Amarine. Ciel was smart, earnest, and wanted to learn all about her world. However, her father did not allow her to leave the home kingdom, not even once in her 18 years of life. She grew up with the company of the people within the kingdom and her many books outside the world about the outside world. She always hoped to see the world with her own eyes one day. Hmm. I even wrote up a detailed plan and travel guide. Still rejected. 
And the king really yelled at me this time. I guess he's tired of hearing me ask. Pardon me, but I do agree that it was a bit much of him. And just then... Your father passed by the hallway. Johannes. Your father left without looking at you. Jeesh, his presence never changes. Are you alright, princess? I'm fine, thank you, Florian. I see. The king doesn't seem to be giving in even after all this time. I wonder if it would be I wonder if it would have been different if my mom was still alive. But I guess I wouldn't know. Why is every why are all the Disney princesses bobs dead? What the fuck? <laughs> but I guess I wouldn't know. She was gone before I could remember what she was like. The king isn't ever going to let me out of Emory. I'm not a kid anymore. Or, well, I still have a lot to learn, but that's why I want to go. Don't worry, I know what you mean. There are plenty of adventurers who are your age or younger. I don't know why the king insists on keeping you in the kingdom. Even if you are the... Even if you are the princess and it's for your safety, this is a bit much. Well, I'm glad I have at least you on my side. All members of a royal family have a personal knight that they grow up with. I'm happy- I'm- 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 I'm, I'm lucky to have Florian as- as mine. Ah, oh, it's just like me and Fritz. <laughs> God damn it! I keep bringing up my- Oh, again, put the fuck! He's a few years older than me and- has been with me for as long as I can remember. Florian, wor Florian worries a lot and is kind of cold towards others, but he's always been nice to me, so he's like a cool daddy. Is he a cool daddy? He's a cool daddy boy. Oh boy. Well, since this isn't working, there's only one thing left to do, and I'm prepared to do it. One thing? Princess, you don't mean... Patricide? Patricide? What? N no! I wouldn't dream of doing that! I don't know what that even is! Oh, I see. My apologies for mentioning it. What the fuck is that? No, wait, no, you can't. No, what, what the fuck does that mean? I don't, I've never heard of that word before. What the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? Hold on a second. I need to look this shit up. No fuck. God damn. Come on, Google. Do your fucking job, okay. What the fuck is Pants side? Patricide is the act of killing one's father or a person who kills his or her father. Oh! Patricide! <laughs> wow! It's something else. I don't think anyone's listening right now, but... What, are we gonna run away? Hold on, let me whisper it to you. Alright, let me get my ear holes ready. Wh what? Er, alright. Florian always seems a little uncomfortable when I get cl cl when I get too close, when I get close, oh fuck, when I get close to him, even though we've always been together, I don't blame him, I don't blame him for it or anything, but I wonder why. Because he likes you. Maybe he doesn't like me or something. <laughs> no, it's because he likes you, you fucking moron. You step closer to Florian and cup your hands at his ear, whispering your plan to him. We're running away, aren't we? I know a secret exit for I know a secret exit from the castle that leads out of Amarine. It's not in the hidden up in blueprints or any of the, any text of the castle, either. I'm the only one who knows about it. I've checked it a few times and there aren't any guards around there. I've decided. I'm going to run away tonight. I knew she was gonna run away! Fuck! I'm right! Hot by me! Hot by me! I'm hot by me myself because I am a loner! A loner! A loner! for winter break though. I'll see him again. And then I'm gonna punch him for leaving me. 
dare you! Yeah, like I can punch anything that hard. I have fucking weak hands. I have tiny little baby girl hands. What? Are you serious? I am! I'm all packed up and ready anyway. I see. Are you sure about this? I am. I've always been thinking about it as the last resort. I know it won't be the most pleasant trip, so... You don't have to follow me if you don't want to. No! I'll go anywhere with, if you want me to, princess. Really? I'm happy to hear that, but I hope I'm not forcing you. Not at all. I was just a bit surprised. It's quite the investment and might be a foolhardy at last resort, but... Hey, are you coming or not? <laughs> I am. Alright then. Thank you, Florian. I was hoping you'd come with me. I'll feel a lot better if you're with me like always. No, it's nothing. I am your knight after all. In any case, I should get prepared. It won't take long. Okay, I'll be waiting here then. Florian leaves. I can't believe I'm really going to do it, but it's better than staying here forever. I want to know more about the world. There are things that books can't teach you after all. Oh, look at this monster, the fucking beast. Mm. Just then, a familiar face comes by. What the fuck is your name? Anton, princess. Oh, hi, Anton. Anton is Florian's older brother and his kid and his captain of Royal Knights. Oh, shit. He's even more distant than Florian and looks scary, but he's a nice person. People don't believe me when I say that, though. Are you in the middle of work? No, I was merely passing by. Oh, fuck, I have to give him a deeper voice. <clears throat> No, no, I was being the best. No, that's no, that's too bad. No, that's no, <clears throat> no, no, that's no, that's I can't do that every time. No, I was merely passing by. Where's Florian? He's just getting something from his room. He said he'd be right back. I see. In that case, I will stay here until he comes back. Are you sure? All right then. Anton is always really careful and attentive. He's a little too serious, though. Maybe that's why people are intimidated by him. Some visitors of the castle see Anton. Is that... The infamous captain of Amarine's Royal Knights? Shh! Some guy. Keep your voice down. Not that I've seen or heard about him or ever being angry, but... I mean, who wants to find out? Poor saps just can't live to tell the tale. See those light... See those ladder streaks in his hair? Yeah. I heard that his hair color used to be pale like his brother and younger brothers. Just to put him his enemies dyed it red! Thirteen minutes, and I already love it. Oh my god. <laughs> I think he's used to it. That, and he doesn't care about what others say. Er, don't worry about them. That's your natural hair color, right? Indeed. I can't imagine where these rumors come from. Hmm. Are you harsh with training the Noriel Knights? Maybe that's part of the reason. Perhaps, but I would rather be known for these rumors than be lenient. Not that I think about it, this might be the last time I see Anton in a while if everything goes well. We never really talked much, but it feels like... it feels kind of lonesome. Sometimes the king has Florian travel outside of Amarine. It's to broaden his horizons or something. Weird how it's not the same for me. In those times, the king has Anton as my bodyguard instead. That only... that started only a couple of years ago, though. I don't really remember... I don't really remember interacting with Anton before that. I guess he was always busy with the Royal Knights. Is everything going well with Florian? Of course! He's always been my knight after all. He was really helpful with my studies and research at recently. I see. That's good to hear. But it was rather careless for him to leave you alone right now. You worry too much. He probably just doesn't want me to see his room. Is that so? I don't know what he could possibly have in there worth hiding. Um, what could be... 
And what could he possibly be retrieving? It is unlike him to be forgetful. Oh! Uh, uh, we were just planning on visiting Emmerine's town, so he's just making sure he has everything. I see. As always, take care and stay close to Florian. And don't get too close to the borders. I know, I know. You worry too much, Anton. Remember that if you ever need anything, the Royal Knights are here for you. Although I would prefer if you called me, called on me, if possible. What? Uh, I trust the members of the Royal Knights, but it would give me a peace of mind nonetheless. Uh, princess, is something the matter? Uh, oh, he didn't mean anything weird by it. Of course! <laughs> no, they always mean something weird by it! They always mean something weird by it! Stop being stupid! He's a natural. N no, it's nothing. It's nice that he's protective, but Anton is a little too cautious. He actually doesn't want me to travel outside the kingdom either. Were you asking the king for permission to leave the kingdom again? That's right. It didn't go too well, though. The king got mad at me. How did you know, though? The king mentions it to me from time to time. Uh, oh, really? That's a little embarrassing. I'm sure you've heard all about my failures to persuade him. Oh, Florian's back. Sorry, sorry to keep you waiting, princess. Not at all. I will be taking my leave, then. Anton leaves. Anton probably said something about me leaving you alone for a second, didn't he? You know him too well. Just that part of him. You two are the same as ever. Hmm. Are you really okay with leaving, Florian? You might not see Anton for a while. It's fine. We aren't particularly close anyway. Oh, I see. Well, we aren't on bad terms or anything. Because of our respective jobs, we don't spend much time around each other. We don't have much in common, I think. We don't look alike at all, either. True. Off the top of my head, there are, there are three similarities, though. First of all... Both of you have such pretty hair! I've always been a little jealous. And you two have... And you two both have the same eye color. She noticed? Aww. She noticed? And you're both really stubborn. S stubborn? Yep. That's not... Like when? Am I really... Well, in any case, make sure to get some rest during the day if you want to be tonight. I know, but that means you have to rest too, you know? N no, well, I can't do that. I'm your bodyguard. Hmm, true. But it doesn't... But do, it doesn't feel right to rest while you can't. What if I ask Anton to watch over the both of us while we take a nap? Princess, that would be uncomfortable for everyone. I'm kidding, of course. I don't think it'd be that bad, though. Remember back when we were kids? I stuck around you like my life depended on it. I think that's the point of a bodyguard. But yes, I remember. It was five and you were seven! It's kind of silly naming this seven-year-old a bodyguard. But that's the tradition. Either way, I'm glad it turned out this way. I'm really lucky to have you as my knight, Florian. Thanks for everything. I still can't believe you're agreeing to this. Because he loves you! Well, yes. Well, like I said, I am your knight after all. And the orders of a knight's master are law. I'm not ordering you, though. If you don't, if you didn't want to come, I'd just go by myself. Orders from the master, words from the master. They're practically the same. Also, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I just let you go on a reckless journey by yourself. It's not that reckless. It's not that reckless! I have a plan! You helped me make this plan for weeks. Besides, I thought you had insomnia, so you wouldn't sleep at night either way. You know what I mean. I know, I know. You're making me feel a little bad about bringing you along now. Yes, but even if it weren't so... Hmm? No, it's nothing. Mm, I 
if you say so. Anyways, let's pick... Anyway, let's pick up a few extra things in town. I told Anton that we were going anyway. Once it was late enough, you and Florian snuck out of the kingdom from a secret exit in the castle. Well, guys, this is... This is actually a really... I'm actually pleasantly... Ple pleasantly surprised. I actually enjoy this. With that being said, if, uh, this is the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of M Magical Atoge CL and you want to see more, then leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring that notification bell. And remember, die safely. Bye-bye.